Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you an update on all the new growth and all the new babies coming in. This video is an update. It's been almost two months that I did my winter maintenance. So now, let's just see where some of these baby succulents are. Okay, I'm gonna get quite a few off that. So that's almost two months growth by pulling the leaves off of the stem. This one's really special. Look how big these are. So there's my little pointer finger and this one right here is just this guy produces the biggest rosettes very quickly so I'm very very happy with that I'm gonna be able to probably get a lot more succulents off of this stem there's a third one down there. But each place that you pull a leaf off, you are bound to get a succulent. Um, more stem propagation. This, this one has already produced. There's one there. This stem has already given me, um, my gosh, I don't even know how many, I mean a lot. Okay. Yeah, so that one's a baby one right there. Four, five, okay, five and six. Six coming off there right now, and uh, I can get a lot more. A lot more. Every place that I take a leaf off will get a couple of new babies coming in. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do that again this spring. And remember how I told you I believe the the best way to stem propagate is to leave one leaf on at the top and then one at least one or several leaves at the bottom so the stem is not so shocked that it does not continue to drink up um, liquid uh, water all right so let's go ahead and keep at it new babies right there all kinds of new baby here new babies And this is leaf propagation in almost two months. They're doing really well. This guy right here blossomed just in the last couple of days. You can see that his leaf is now re almost ready to be pulled off. Oh boy, there's just so much happening right now. I know all of you succulent lovers are probably enjoying the 
uh, fruits of your labor right now. These little tiny babies have grown up quite a bit. Now they're rooted. There's a couple more. This pot needs to be pulled apart. These guys right here, this, this tall bunch right here, at one point was really small like that. And really just in the last couple of weeks, it shot up. So now it's time to plant that one in the backyard. Now, look at this. Isn't that sweet? We've got two of these. I don't ever know the scientific names, but they're blooming. Now they're blooming. And something very interesting that I do want to show you is um, sometimes the blooms look like they're pups. And I mistakenly, before I knew what I was doing, took off something like that on several of my succulents and repotted it and it was just a bloom so I, I think it's best to keep the blooms on now but one thing I took these out of their pot because they were really getting way too much moisture way too much water and uh oh we've got a slug there he's gonna need to be taken off uh, but what I'm trying to show you is there are babies, okay? So those, I'm going to give them another uh, month, and then I'm going to get in and clip those out of there. Uh, but just, uh, just know that if you're new to succulents, sometimes you think that these are pups, but they're not. Um, these are blooms. And luckily for these plants, these are not the death blooms. I call them that because if they were to come out of the center of the plant, that's a tip off that the plant's life is coming to a close. To come right out of the center. Okay, and so this plant looks like she is just super happy giving her mama some flowers. Now this is new propagation and nothing's happening here yet. Oh well, we got a baby there already. And then I'll just give you give you some more peeks at what else is happening. Okay, this guy's got lots of babies. Need to clean him up. I love that one. He's just kind of growing like wildfire. Um, all right, these were these were all new uh, that I clipped off. Little tiny babies that I clipped off of stem propagation, and they're all rooted now. One problem that I'm seeing is, um, I guess, the aphids and mealybugs. But uh, one thing to cure these bugs, you can rinse them off uh, under a stream of water at your sink and they're good to go. Um, make sure that you also have a lot of airflow, good airflow and circulation inside your home. But these are going to be placed outside in a couple of weeks or even maybe this week and they're going to be fine. Um, those mealy bugs are gonna go away those aphids will go away I may also spritz them with some rubbing alcohol okay and just just some new growth on this guy I think he was outside and he got sunburned on one of the very very hot winter days so I had to bring him in for uh, to recoup this one, we are going to uh, probably start clipping off these, these lower leaves and just give it a fresh new pot of soil. These guys, they're rooting themselves. This one's ready to go outside. Got a little mealy bug issue, but it's, it's not bad. 
I, I promise you that, that my mealy bugs, they do come, but I, I have my ways of getting rid of them. Um, I love this pot right here. Oh, those are so pretty. Those will go outside very soon. Okay, so let's head over to another part of the um, succulent house takeover. <laughs> Uh, many of these larger leaves were placed just in water. Uh, we were just propagating them just in a bowl of clear water and they were doing great and uh, it came time that they needed to be repotted in soil. So now some of these are starting to get a good root system going. These are all waiting here at my um, first aid station. There's something going on with each of these that needs to be done, done up a little bit better. Um, they need to be taken care of in a way that they just need extra attention right now. So this will be part of what I'm doing today. Here's some more tray pop propagation, leaf propagation. Some of these leaves are shooting off, gosh, five or six babies. I don't want to pull them off the leaf anytime soon, so they'll stay right here. They all seem to be doing really well. They seem to be pretty happy. Here's a and propagation. We're getting one, two, three, four, five. Five succulents off of that. One stem. And then we were able to repot and re-root the mother. And I've got two more leaves that'll be pull pulled off in a month or so. Lots of new succulents off of one plant. This is in um, a windowsill. This is upstairs in our house. And um, the cactus, he is a bonus. Uh, we, I found him under the soil. He wasn't even showing, nothing was showing above ground, but he was found in a little pot where I went to a woman's house and she was giving away a bunch of her succulents. So he's bonus. I never never did have cactuses, so I have one now and it looks like he's shooting out babies. Look at those rosettes. Um, almost two months ago when I did winter maintenance, those were teeny tiny babies. Some of these are a little stressed, but I don't mind. I think they're okay. Um, so. Those were babies that got taken off of one of my bigger succulents. All right, so just tons and tons of new babies. You know, little mealy buggy stuff happening. So they're gonna need to get out in the sun. Mm, I, I love this pot. Okay, each of these will be potted now, probably later today, in their own separate pot. And these guys, I did not want to uh, cut the crown off. I'm going to put those in the backyard and just let them grow up straight and strong. Of these so many of them my gosh wow and then these are succulents I wanted to keep small 
so I haven't repotted them yet. They haven't been given a chance to grow. This one's got a bloom coming out. That's so sweet. But these are all, I would say, pretty healthy. I, uh, they're this, this exact same size, um, but I had them outside and the birds were starting to get to my succulents, so I brought these in for the winter time. I didn't really want the birds to get to them. All right, let's move to another area in the house. This little pot right here has uh, four different succulents in it. They're all growing strong. These were damaged by the sun, but they are doing great. They've got brand new baby rosettes coming out of the center, two on each. So look how those survived. They're gonna be fine. Let's see here. This. Oh yes, we do have some here, okay. Stem propagation. Looks like we've got a lot coming, a lot coming in. These are a little bit slower right now to uh, to grow up. Okay, um, more babies. Now all of these were teeny tiny little things. Um, almost. Well, about 50 days ago, so coming up on two months fall, but they've all got a really good root system. They're ready to go outside. And this one right here, especially happy. Yes, I know, I have, I have little bugs. I, I need to get that taken care of. So beautiful. Okay. On my next video, I'm going to show you how to get these aphids cleaned up and off your plants. But the most the most crucial situation uh, with these aphids indoors is just to get some good airflow. All right. Moving on. Uh, these are growing. I think I'm going to go ahead and clip the the tops off of these and do some uh, leaf propagation. And down here below, even though these are indoors, they seem to be doing really, really well. Here's a tray that gets a lot of southern exposure uh, sun and so they probably need a lot more water. I've been watering them once a week. It might not be enough. As you can see they're turning different colors. Look at that perfect little baby right there. Both of those are so gorgeous and I especially love this grouping right here. We have some pretty mint green, red. Oh my gosh, those are so beautiful. And um, those are looking pretty healthy. Not a ton of mealy bugs happening down in this area because the airflow is super good. I open a window and they get all day fresh air. The larger ones will be placed outside. Lots of new babies. Lots and lots. Okay. Now this, this guy, we had done a whole episode on him. It's a her. And I showed you how I 
I clipped off four babies that I'd showed you previously here in this video. So now let's try to find the other babies that are going to need to be clipped off. See, let's give them another month. Okay, there's two in there right now, but I'm going to give those a couple of months. Um, let's give them two more months and then I'll come in and clip them off. And then here is not an awesome update here. Uh, these are not growing that fast, but I believe they're it's not their season. They're going to be fine, even though they're tiny like this and they haven't really grown that much, even in 50 days, they're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. Hey, if you didn't get a chance to watch the winter garden video, I highly suggest it. I'll leave the link below, but it is one of my favorites. After 30 years of writing, I'm ready to release all of my books and get them published. There's a link that I've provided below for more information. And as usual, Gigi and I want to thank you for watching, and we'd love it if you like, share, and subscribe.